up, gang? It's your boy Jay, aka Straight Drop Jay, and you're now watching Reason Gang TV. So today, we're gonna do a little sound design. I'm gonna show you guys how to create a lead in Reason Studio. Leads are the main instrument in any production. They derive from a, a guitar lead where when the singer backed off, the lead guitarist would come in and do a solo. And it was a strong performance. It was focused. And basically a lead is one of the most powerful elements in your production. Uh, nowadays, leads can be behind vocals or they could be in solo, uh, solo areas. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the Hallmark EDM lead, which is a super saw, which is a regular saw synthesized using a detuning effect, which detuning creates multiple voices slightly in a detuned pitch. And uh, it, it sounds really rich and warm. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Just for a little uh, history, Roland created the Super Saw in the 80s and it's been super popular in electronic music ever since. And they did it originally by recreating each voice individually, slightly detuning it by very small scents, sensitones, which is very small in between semitones. And that's how you got the rich, rich, rich sound. Now Reason has a, a few ways to do this without creating thousands of instances, which you can, but there's way, a way quicker workflow. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's gonna be a real quick tutorial, but uh, come on, let's go. Okay guys, so I started up Reason and all I did was load up a subtractor. I will reset the device and the device comes stock with the oscillator one with a saw. Now it has a filter on it, so let's open the filter. But this is what it sounds like. That's a saw with a slight filter. That's without the filter. So that's the saw sound. We can do this with other synthesizers. I'll do that in a second. But let me just show you. Let me record a quick little loop and then I'll show you the effect. Wow, that was a that was a hideous loop, but let's see how the beauty of detuning will fix this. Meanwhile, I'll turn it down slightly so the vocals match a little better. Okay, let's drop the detuner and that's going to give you a super saw. Go to effects. Go to the unison, drop that on there. Now listen, let's add a little re a little release after you hear. That is a super saw. More detuning gives you that thicker sound a little resonance will give a little a little spike you could tell the warmth and the lushness that the unison adds all unison is doing is replaying multiple voices and detuning them now that's dry add a little bit of um little reverb and a little echo super lush all right i'm going to show you guys how to do that in another another with another stock synth let's go with the parsec i don't know if it's stock but i know it's a uh, reason and it comes with if you i think if you get reason 11 it comes with it not sure but anyways 
another saw it begins with the saw this is a hybrid you could you could mix it you can morph it to a square but we're gonna keep the saw now the i think we could go to a a detuner either in here oh unison right there so now listen well let me show you before and after this is before super loud hold on now with the detune the unison A little release always does good. Some effects. You see how you could create such a, a, a nice sound. All right, let's go with one more. Let's go with, in my opinion, the best sounding analog reproduction of a synthesizer is the Thor. Now this is super easy in the Thor. Let me just show you. Starts with a saw, but we take this analog wavetable and we go to multi oscillator. There you go, simple. This knob right here gives you it. Super lush. Maybe too much release. Gives you different um, types types of detunes, different types. Linear, interval, random, random. You could see it more apparent when it turned up. I like random one. And my secret sauce is chorus. Check how it's gonna sound. A little less D2. Super loud once again. Now this is it with effects. I'm just gonna pl uh, record something cool. That was a, a hideous loop, but you get what I'm saying. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the different types of super saws, which all stem from the same basic oscillator sound the saw waveform uh, you, there's endless ways uh europa has a a really nice one uh there's lots of lots and lots and lots of synthesizers that do this really well i was just showing you the stock ones in reason and uh i hope you guys uh learned something from this i'll be doing a lot more sound designing soon so uh stay tuned guys Okay guys, I'm glad that uh, I got a chance to explain how to do this and it was super quick and super easy. I'm gonna do a lot more sound design tutorials. Next I'll do possibly mono synths. That's the west side sounding stretching gliding effect. I may do plucks and bells on another one which is very trap oriented. I'll do bass, 808 bass synthesis, straight up synthesis, no sampling. I'll show you guys a bunch of things in the future, but I'm glad you guys came to watch this. Uh, like and subscribe. Subscribe is the most important thing because I want to reach you guys and uh, hit those notifications. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later, man. Salute. Reason Gang, we out.